so much. That's really what I wanted to um, discuss and talk about. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Abel, for that very insightful uh, talk. Really interesting. Um, here's to hoping it helps to put certain things that we've talked about into perspective, uh, and especially some of the things that we discussed day before yesterday and on Monday also. Uh, those are those of you that were probably paying paying attention to to Zachary's talk will remember that he he said that one of the things they do as a department before they upload what Abel just mentioned, preprint or post prints, is they use that uh, web service called Shepa Romeo, right? Uh, and, and what it does is it provides you with a quick way of, um, of trying to figure out whether or not the publishers of that particular preprint or postprint have given you access to archive that content onto your institutional repository, right? So, so many different things that Abel talked about, you know, uh, interesting things about uh, various open access uh, models, right? Gold versus green. Uh, and interesting enough, he also raised the issue of quality. Uh, I remember having a conversation, I've had this conversation with Zachary, and I believe Abel as well, uh, on why the UNSA has decided to pause on uploading student capstone project reports. If you check on the UNSA website, you realize that uh, the last uh, final year project report, you know, those reports that fourth years or fifth years in engineering will produce, the last one I think was uploaded in 2015. So yeah. there are these conversations to do with the quality of output that you're exposing on the IR. Um, and so, We'll invite questions. Uh, please uh, feel free and um, ask away. Thank you. Hello, Abel. Hi, hi, Judith. Yes. Uh, my question is, how can I help my colleagues understand the benefit of self-archiving? All right. All at right. my institution, yes. Okay. Where, 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 which one is the institution? I know that name, eh? I yes, yes. It. I, I I know at the moment I saw it I, like I, where have I seen this name? Where where which one is the institution? Let me just get context and then. Uh, the Livingston College of Education. Oh yes, yeah. Um, one of one of the things that um I'll I'll encourage you to do again something we we talk about with with light on whenever we have something that is like an idea, you know. Um, call for a seminar. Um, if 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 you work. Uh, if, if, if like the library can organize a seminar and say, okay, I would like to make a presentation on on self archiving, all right? And uh, I think would be personally, I'll be glad to assist. Okay, so if you're you're working on the slides and you'd like um, that we look at the slides that you use to present before you make a presentation, I'll be more than glad to to look at them and 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 have you present. So one of the things is um. Uh, so this is how I would do it because of the procedure and, 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 and um, protocol, you know, write to the principal, is it the dean, and request, you know, that uh, here is something that I think will help us. Once top management understands and they give you a green light, the chances of convincing others is very easy, okay? So that's my take, right to, right after this, right to, to either the principal or your boss and request that uh, you you know what let's let's take this seriously it's something that will, will help our institution and it will actually show your value in the in in your institution that's what i think yeah okay thank you so much welcome man. i'll get in touch with you please and and sometimes uh, targeting the so called big fishes out there tends to work uh, i know abdo and i have uh, I've done talks at HEA to try and explain to them yeah. the importance of some of these things. Yeah. And in fact, in the, in the past, what we normally do when we have such interactions, such talks is we extend uh, invitations to the wider investor community, such that uh, COVID-19 has somewhat disrupted the way we normally do things. Yeah. Um, and the beauty with that is in the past, we've had uh, people like the DRGS director, for instance, come through. Um, and so the talks are dumbed down in such a way that the people that are more influential get to understand the importance of doing this. Like yeah. for instance, the the impact that it has on the institution's ranking, right? Mm. So um, the cheap way of uh, going about your question, Judith, would be to target the people that 
that influential in your organization. Yeah. Like Adol suggested, the principal, for instance, and you explain, right? Not, not, not pitch your talk from a perspective where it's more technical, but you simplify it in such a way that you emphasize on how beneficial it would be to the institution yeah. if that were done. Yeah. Thanks. Excuse me. Yes. Um, I just, just probably a follow up on Judith's uh, question. It could be also like a, a request from our, and I think we'll, we'll engage you. Would like to learn more and see how we can go about uh, also sensitizing our staff on the on our end as regards uh, self archiving. So we'll be engaging you. Please do not get tired of. Let's do the, you know, let's run it as, as a yeah. baby boomba, you know, this is, yeah. this is, this is our, our, our first born. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, let's run yeah. with, um, it, it excites me, you know, this excites me. So let's do yeah. this. Let's do that. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as, actually one of the things I, I, I don't know if uh, light on you still remember there was an idea of uh, coming up with an indaba for universities that have irs we, we were planning of develop um, a one-day workshop on just seeing what is going on out there so i talked yeah. to i talked COVID to covid 19 yes. yeah. yeah i talked to guys at uh, cbu and molungushi i knew it was going to be easy to talk to dubeka uh, but we had not yet talked to, uh, to her. I, I think light on your promise you'd you'd in, uh, engage Dubeka and and Dokoy. Um, yeah. Well, you know, we just sit and really look at uh, what can we do together to push this open access agenda um, and especially institutional repository. So this is something that we we should run with here. Yeah? yeah, and uh, I think this, by the way, is a starting point. Uh, people may not have realized this but there's a reason why we invite certain people to come and give talks and, and in fact this time around we are fortunate because a number of our colleagues that are enrolled into 5310 um, are actually employed in institutions of higher learning right yeah. so uh, we are hoping that uh, after such conversations we can take it a step further and try and move forward uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm, now I'm having to ask a question. Um, Dubeka, have you, uh, are you already working on a, on, on, on a policy? Is that brewing? Um, considering that now you, uh, your IR is up, up, yeah? Uh, actually, yes, we, we are working on, um, something called a publications and IR policy. Okay. Yeah, so we presented it to a committee of Senate and uh, they gave a go ahead. So we should be presenting it to Senate in the next meeting and Beautiful. hopefully it goes through. Beautiful, that's wonderful to hear. Yeah, yeah that's really good news. Yeah. All right, uh, are, are there any other questions? Uh, it's a Friday and I think uh, Abby was kind enough to do this for us. We want to let him go and we have another class, 5310 class. Do people have uh, any last question, comments? Uh, all right, if there's uh, no question, I just wanted in closing, just to remind us that, uh, so Abdel doing his discussion of different models, right? Abdel touched on a number of things, although his focus was on green open access, the green open access model, which is linked to institutional repositories. If you're one of those institutions that is thinking of setting up so-called open access journals as well. Um, there are certain things to carefully think about, you know, how exactly you are going to fund the operation itself. Yeah. Because it turns out that um, with, with an IR, it's a lot easier for you to, to uh, do away certain, um, certain tasks. Like for instance, you don't have to worry about who's going to type set a document because what you'd be archiving would be in part things like preprints, so things that have already gone in verification process. Mm. Uh, but if you're thinking of setting up something similar to what uh, Zajlis, uh, our, our departmental journal at UNSA, the least departmental journal at UNSA has done, you have to think about uh, money associated yeah. with typesetting. That's a lot yeah. of work, right? Making mm. sure that uh, these documents that you're exposing to the outside world are properly formatted. Mm. 
Mm. Where is the money going to come from for hosting? We are fortunate because our our journal is hosted um, on Zamarin servers. But of course, even if Zamarin was not around, we know that uh, the investor of Zambia has the infrastructure that would need to host the platform. You know, so it turns out that there, there are a number of things to carefully think about, right? So just because you can go online doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be completely free. You know, so uh, interesting things that came up, in my opinion. Uh, here's to hoping that we can continue these conversations going forward. Uh, Abel, again, thank you so very much for this. Um, yeah, you're welcome. This beneficial. Yeah. Thank you. And, yeah. And to the participants, uh, thank you so much for showing up. Uh, we hope to see you on Monday where we have uh, Dokoi giving a talk, which is really more centered around uh, integrated library systems. Um, so thank you and uh, see you. Uh, thanks again, Abel. All right, thank you. Um, have a good evening. All right, thanks. To the least 53 students, we have another interaction with class, which is another meeting. So the link uh, was sent out via email and I think you should have access to it in the WhatsApp group also. So I'll see you on the other side.